Here we are in Hong Kong, my friend Ken and I. We've only been here 24 hours. We've already had the most insane dim sum breakfast. I mean, 7 in the morning, families and people sitting around eating these incredible dim sum. I thought I knew Chinese food. I don't know anything, but I'm learning a lot. Then we went off and had some, uh, some barbecue pork and roasted goose. I had my first thousand-year-old egg and some shark fin soup, which I'm going to tell you to skip that one. So now we're walking back from all this yesterday. We're exhausted. We're jet lagged, although we're not admitting it. And when you love food, you get like a sixth sense. You just see a place and you know it's going to be good. This is one of those places. Check this out. Hong Kong is known for Cantonese and dim sum style food. So I'm not sure how great the noodles are supposed to be, but this place looks amazing. You can tell already because of the incredible amount of effort they put into the facade. <laughs> It's always the best. The best people and the best food is always when it's super low key and unpretentious. So this has got to be good. Check it out. And to me, it's always a great sign when there's not a word of English anywhere. I love it when we're ordering and at the table next to us, this is what's going on. They're making these fish balls. This is the fish ball. And the dumplings, fish dumplings. It's not exactly a bowl of pretzels or peanuts, but this is what I like to see when I'm in a place like Hong Kong. They're rolling out the dim sum right here. This is incredible. Our first course are these fresh made fish dumplings fried. And here they are rolling up at the table next to us. Chili sauce. And fried food tastes this clean. That's when you know it's great. And I can actually taste the fish. The fish is tender and moist and clean and fresh. Nothing is lost in the frying process. And I think the best part of this so far might be the napkins that they brought us. Check them out. That is what it's about. Food, not fancy. Love it. All right, so this is our next course. It's the dumplings in noodles. You can get any of this stuff in either as a soup or in noodles. And I'm telling you, this is not the ramen noodles I ate in college. Check this out. The broth is so clean. That is the word that comes to mind. It is clean and it is so delicate and full of flavor. Now for the dumpling. I mean, look at this. You can see this beautiful fish that they just finished wrapping in the dumpling dough. It's just bulging out. The, the, the casing can barely hold it. And I can already imagine that it's just going to pop with juice when I bite into this. Look at that filling. Look how brilliant that is. Looks like some of the dry black fungus mushrooms. Some bamboo shoot maybe. Some shrimp. you got to be kidding me. For $3. The shrimp pops as if they perfectly cooked it and then wrapped it in with the perfectly cooked fish. It's flavorful, it's juicy. And I love the way the broth just kind of soaks in to the dumpling dough so it's like kind of chewy but it's still has body. Yeah. Yeah. And, and although it's great food, we are willing to pay for it. Almost $2 per dish. <laughs>